What we're going to cover in this video is something that we're going to call estimating templates. It's not really to be confused though with work area templates. What a work area template is, is a, something that you might have built. It's under the item catalog section. It's something you can build, for example, a driveway or snow plowing or whatever. And it's a list of uh, labor and equipment and materials, some notes, all that pertain to uh, a piece of an estimate or part of an estimate. Work area templates are a great tool to make estimating faster. But you can also build something that for the purposes of, the, of this video, we're going to call an estimate template. Basically, an estimate template is just an estimate, it's particularly useful for service type work. It's an estimate that doesn't really belong to a customer. What I've done here is I've created an estimate and I've called it template, maintenance, residential, small. What this is going to be is this is going to be an estimate for a typical small residential maintenance contract. And by saving this as a template, it will help me speed up drastically the amount of time it takes to estimate small maintenance residential work because I can come to this template, I can hit save as new, I can create the customer that I want to build an estimate for and everything that's already in this estimate will come over to the new customer taking away 90% of my work every time I build an estimate. So what I've done is I've built a template maintenance residential small under the services and pricing section so, and I've made a customer, back up one step, I've made a customer for our shop just so it's not a real customer. I've just actually made a client as our shop and I've assigned the template to our shop as a client. That way I don't artificially put this template on any uh, actual client. When I go to services and pricing, what I've done here is I've built a typical residential mowing contract for our small residential properties. And I would have the average amount of time it takes to mow, an average amount of time it takes to weed beds and fertilize and aerate and all the different services that we would offer a small residential contract. Now, when I get an opportunity to bid a small residential contract, instead of building the whole estimate from scratch, I come in here and I open this template. One of the fast ways you can do is back on the estimating screen, we'll save our changes to date. Back on the estimating screen, I just search for templates up comes my different residential templates that I've built. Here's the one we were just looking at, Danscaping Shop. Now in this template, I go down to the bottom here and I hit save as new. Now I'm gonna pick the actual customer I wanna use this for. So first of all, I might pick uh, the Jones residence as the client and their name. Over here, I need to change the contract to the Jones. So I do a search for them, or I could add a new one if they didn't exist, but I'll call this one uh, the Bill Jones job. I'll make sure all this is set up correctly. And when I'm happy with it, I hit okay. And what it's gonna do is create an exact copy of that small residential template with all the things in there. So my hours and my spring cleanup, and my mowing, all that stuff might need a little bit of tweaking based on the size of this small residential, but from property to property on a small residential, they're going to be very close to each other. So I can just go in, I make my tweaks. If the Jones don't want fertilizing and don't want garden bed weeding, I can put those two on hold. But now I've done 90% of the work it took to estimate because don't, I've got all my hours and everything built in and my averages. 90% of the work I've estimated is done. All I got to do is make tweaks. So if you set up a template for a small residential, a medium residential, and a large residential, and you could do the same thing for small, medium, and large commercial, you'd have six templates that you could use to estimate a lot of your work very quickly using the save as new, then take that template and make it into a real client, uh, make your changes and you're done most of your work. Once all your notes are set up and your crew notes are set up and you've got all that stuff in your template, uh, it'll save you hours and hours of work of estimating bids throughout the year for properties that are more or less the same as one other, save for a few little tweaks.